In this exercise, we're going to look at updating our 365 account. Microsoft 365 is a cloud-based system and is very team-oriented. In many cases, you'll find yourself working with others online, collaborating on projects, or working on files together. That means you'll want to be easy to find by your colleagues. The best way to be found by colleagues or even by clients outside your organization is to keep your Microsoft 365 profile up to date. Now that we've logged into our 365 account, we'll be viewing our Microsoft 365 home screen or home page. In order to update our profile, we're going to come up to our account manager here and you may notice that you'll have just your initials here. So we're going to come and click on this one time and then come and click on my Microsoft 365 profile. That's going to open up our 365 profile here in a new program. You'll notice I get a new tab here at the top called Delve. That's where this is all managed. If you have any information already listed here, this may have come from you when you set up your subscription and signed into Microsoft 365, or it may be a system administrator in your organization who did it for you. Otherwise, what we want to do is, well, the first thing we're going to do is going to change our profile here. I want to add an image to my profile here. So I'm going to click this little camera, upload a new photo. That opens up my change photo window here. I'm going to click upload a new photo. Then I'm going to navigate to wherever the image that I want to upload is located. I'm going to find it here and I'm going to double click this and it automatically populates that image. From here I could zoom in, zoom out, or even possibly click and drag to move my image. Uh, you'll notice there's not a lot of play there. Otherwise when I'm finished I'm going to click apply. Give me a little check mark there. I'm going to click done. Now my image has been uploaded. Now you'll notice over here I'm going to have my links for my email, links for my chat, and then also my OneDrive. Down here I'm going to click on update profile. That changes my screen a little bit. You'll notice there's sections over here. I can click on a specific section. It'll take me directly to it for about me. Otherwise I can scroll through and find things that I can add to my profile so people can better know me and contact me. Now you see down here under personal information I just have the name here. But you'll notice when you hover over you get a little icon that tells you right there that everyone can see this which is fine i want to keep that in mind down here i can add a birthday i can add a home phone mobile phone and of course our fax number we can't forget that now if i scroll down i'm going to find this section here called projects this is something that i'll definitely want to add to my profile so people get a better idea of what i've worked on so that they can see whether it's a project that they have questions about I'm going to click inside here and I'm going to add Microsoft 365 training. Now this is just for demonstration purposes. After I've added this, I'm going to click add project. Now you'll notice it's listed down here. Of course, I can click in here and add more additional projects and then just click add project to make it part of the list. Otherwise, as we scroll down, we can see there's a skills and experience section. This is something that I'll definitely want to potentially add to better inform folks as to what my skills are. I can also add school and education, interests and hobbies. Otherwise, I'm going to leave this as it is and I'm going to come over to the navigation bar and click on me. Now down here you'll notice that the 365 training has been added to my projects. Now of course over here on the right hand side I have some files that I've recent, recently worked on and what have you. As I scroll down here's a list of people that's within our organization and then down here are discover documents from people around you. These are files that may have been worked on by other people or myself in a collaboration. Now as I see there's files here, this is just one more location where I can add a file to my favorites. Once it's been added to my favorites, I can come over and click on favorites and they'll be listed here. Pretty simple. If we click on home, it's going to give me a long list of files that I've worked on, uploaded, or otherwise been collaborating on. This is just a bit of an extension of our OneDrive. Pretty simple. I'm going to click on me. That's a nice summary and that's all there is to it. When I'm finished I'm going to come up and click the close X here for Delve just to close this tab and now I'm back to my Microsoft 365 home screen. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next exercise.